On October 4, 2025, the world awaited one of the most anticipated astronomical events in recent history. 3I Atlas, the mysterious interstellar object that had fascinated scientists for months, was set to make its closest approach to Mars. Every major space agency had their instruments locked on it. Mars orbiters stood ready, the Perseverance rover was active, and researchers worldwide expected a surge of fresh data. However, just as the object came into view, NASA's servers went offline. Their official website flickered before disappearing, replaced by a simple notice, under maintenance. Initially, most assumed it was a server overload due to massive web traffic. But then, the European Space Agency's site went dark too. Hours later, China's space data portal also stopped updating. Three competing agencies, NASA, ESA, and CNSA, all going silent at the exact same moment. Days passed with no updates, sparking widespread speculation. What could possibly cause all three to shut down simultaneously? The biggest surprise was China's silence. For years, China had prided itself on outpacing NASA in transparency, often being the first to release raw data, results, and public announcements of discoveries. Yet this time, there was nothing. That silence might have remained a conspiracy rumor until one image surfaced, a raw photograph from Perseverance's right navigation camera. It hadn't been transmitted via NASA's main servers, but instead uploaded through a backup relay before the shutdown. The timestamp read October 4th, 2133 Martian local time. It captured Mars's night horizon, showing something hovering above it. It wasn't a glowing ice ball or a comet tail. There was no dust, no irregular edges, only structure, precise, clean, and disturbingly artificial. Within days, independent observatories analyzed the image and confirmed the object reflected sunlight like a polished metal surface. Its cylindrical form measured roughly 46 kilometers in length and 12 kilometers in diameter, with perfect symmetry. Natural objects of that size normally have dents, fractures, or craters, but this one was flawlessly smooth. Experts initially dismissed it as motion blur, an illusion caused by the camera's exposure time, but that theory collapsed almost immediately. The navcam's optics and shutter calibration are well documented, and even with stacked exposure, any moving object would show a fading trail. Yet here, the light was uniform. No gradient, no blur, no distortion. It wasn't a smear of light, it was tangible and solid, unnervingly symmetrical, far too refined to be natural. For decades, astronomers have known what comets typically look like, dirty snowballs of ice and dust, scarred with craters and followed by long, luminous tails as they near the sun. But 3i Atlas had always defied that description. Even before nearing Mars, its behavior contradicted all known models. Its brightness stayed constant, its rotation nearly zero, its trajectory perfectly linear, and its velocity, about 67 kilometers per second, placed it on a retrograde orbit opposite to the planetary motions. Then came that image, revealing details that defied every assumption. It wasn't a green haze or any known chemical reflection like previous telescope captures from Hubble or JWST. That's when Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb entered the discussion. Reanalyzing the data with Mars's distance factored in, he confirmed its reflective property was unprecedented, higher than any asteroid or comet ever observed. He also noted its thermal output remained unchanged under sunlight. In simple terms, it wasn't heating up. Every comet warms as it nears a star releasing vapors and forming tails, but 3i Atlas's temperature remained constant, as if maintaining internal control. To Loeb, only two explanations existed, both deeply unsettling. Either the surface was made of an unknown substance, one capable of reflecting nearly all sunlight like a perfect mirror, or it had an internal mechanism regulating heat. In other words, it might be active, not inert. Either possibility defied physics as we know it. Then came the age dilemma. Based on its composition and velocity, Loeb estimated 3i Atlas had been moving through interstellar space for tens or even hundreds of millions of years. At that speed, 
Its survival was nearly impossible. Space isn't empty. It's filled with radiation, charged particles, and dust moving at destructive velocities. Even a tiny grain of sand striking a spacecraft at 80 kilometers per second could vaporize it. Every known cosmic body bears the scars of such impacts, craters, fractures, pitting, and erosion. But 3i Atlas displayed none of them. Not a dent, not a mark, nothing at all. It is flawless, seamless, untouched by time, as though whatever substance composes it was crafted not merely to survive the cosmos, but to defy it entirely. That was when scientists began re-examining its form. Why a cylinder? Why not a sphere like most natural bodies? According to Loeb, the reasoning was as unsettling as it was. In both engineering and physics, the cylindrical form represents the most efficient structure that nature and technology can create. It distributes pressure uniformly, withstands external stress, and remains internally stable even under extreme forces. A cylinder can rotate to simulate gravity, stabilize its own spin, and endure impacts that would destroy irregular or asymmetrical forms. Yet its greatest advantage lies not in mechanics but in electromagnetism. In electromagnetic theory, a hollow cylinder behaves as a resonant cavity, an enclosure capable of trapping, amplifying, and transmitting electromagnetic waves with minimal loss of energy. The geometry itself becomes an antenna capable of both sending and receiving transmissions across interstellar distances. This implies that 3i Atlas's design may not merely be aerodynamic but communicative. Loeb noted that the precision of the cylinder was no coincidence. It appeared intentional, a deliberate expression of design. Structurally, the cylindrical geometry remains the most resilient and efficient ever conceived. Its symmetry spreads force evenly, enabling it to endure erosion, gravitational strain, and even high-speed collisions without breaking apart. Unlike spheres or irregular forms, a rotating cylinder can maintain equilibrium, generate artificial gravity, and preserve internal conditions with minimal distortion. The most striking revelation, however, came from its electromagnetic response. In radio physics, a hollow cylindrical shape is known as a resonant cavity, a natural amplifier for electromagnetic energy. It can store, modify, and re-emit radiation with remarkable precision, acting as both transmitter and receiver. Such geometry is ideal for preserving signal quality across vast distances, particularly at specific cosmic frequencies like the 1.42 GHz hydrogen line, a universal marker used in deep space communication. For Loeb, this possibility wasn't far-fetched. If 3i Atlas was indeed technological, its form might enable it to exchange information over light years, not by brute force, but by exploiting resonance itself. In essence, the object might be communicating in the language of physics, the universal code of the cosmos. This same design could explain its haunting steadiness. Cylindrical bodies can naturally align with surrounding magnetic fields, using the interstellar plasma that fills space as a means of propulsion. By interacting with magnetic and electric fields, the structure could subtly adjust its path or orientation without expelling any propellant. Such a mechanism would render traditional engines obsolete. It could, in theory, navigate indefinitely, guided by the very fabric of the universe it travels through. The implications were staggering. 3i Atlas was not only intact, it was functional. Its consistent thermal regulation suggested internal systems still operating. Some researchers theorized it was built from a self-organizing molecular lattice capable of mending itself after micro-impacts. Others proposed a protective electromagnetic sheath surrounding it, an energy layer that evaporated any particle before collision. Either mechanism could allow it to endure millions of years adrift through space without degradation, an accomplishment no natural formation could match. Then came the signal anomaly that changed everything. When the Mars orbiters conducted radar sweeps, the returning echo displayed weak oscillations precisely at 1.42 GHz, the hydrogen line. That frequency isn't random. It's the natural emission of the universe's most abundant element. It's also the frequency city researchers have long considered the ideal interstellar beacon, 
one single point any intelligent species would identify. That left only two possibilities. Either 3i Atlas is composed of material with electromagnetic properties unlike anything known to science, or it operates as an active transceiver, a device engineered to survive the cosmos, gathering and transmitting information through the hydrogen frequency that unites the universe itself. Perhaps that explains the silence from the space agencies, not necessarily concealment, but confusion. What do you even tell an entire planet when you realize something out there has been observing you for longer than humanity has existed? How do you explain a machine that seems built to endure eternity? So, what do you think truly appeared near Mars? Was it a comet or something infinitely more extraordinary? And why have all the agencies remained quiet? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on 3i Atlas.